Hey guys, welcome back to the Burnett Bunch. And today we're back in the kitchen. We're gonna make a delicious Sunday afternoon dish on our smoker. And we're gonna be using this, this, and this. It's called the swine apple, and we're bringing it to you in three, two, one. Three, two, three, two, one. All right, welcome back. So the first thing I did is I took 12 ounces of bacon and I uh, interwove it. I made a little basket out of it, a basket weave. Uh, and then I went ahead and marinated my pork. Uh, I had two pork loins. Uh, I wasn't able, I'm not gonna be able to fit it all into the, to the pineapple. So I'm gonna leave one as the control. So this will be my control loin. Once this gets up to the internal temperature, I'll know that this one's getting pretty close since it's in the pineapple, I won't be able to take it a correct temp. Uh, and then I topped my pineapple. I kept my top, you'll see why in just a few minutes. And then I cored the pineapple. I'm seasoning everything today with Everglade seasoning. If you don't, if you never checked out Everglade seasoning, not sponsored, please check them out. So I use the Everglades rub and a little bit of Everglades heat. Uh, there's about six or seven different Everglades seasonings. I like them all, they're all really good. And the Everglades rub really goes really well with pork. So that's all my prep, my prep is done. And now we're gonna go ahead and put it all together. All right, so here you have it. So here's our swine apple. All right, so this is, <clears throat> so what I did, just to recap, I cored the pineapple, stuffed it full with as much pork tenderloin I could that was seasoned and marinated pork tenderloin. I stuffed the pineapple. I used some skewers here to secure the pineapple top and bottom all the way through just for a little bit of dexterity, a little stabilization. I wrapped it with my pork lattice bacon and then I seasoned that. I did not season the outside of the pineapple, but I did season the bacon. I want that pineapple sweetness to come through, but I did season the outside of the bacon with that evergreens rub. And then went ahead and wrapped my control tenderloin as well. I'm gonna put these in the, in the fridge. Probably gonna put these in the fridge for about six hours. Uh, it's not even 11 o'clock on Sunday morning. Uh, we had an early service today, so had a special service and got out a little bit earlier than normal. So. Uh, probably let these sit in the refrigerator for probably six hours. Let them marinate, let that bacon kind of cool off and come back together. Some of that fat can kind of bind to keep that lattice even stronger. Probably put them in a smoker uh, probably six hours from now. I'm uh, expecting about a two hour cook time. That'll have us eating about 7.30, 8 o'clock. So uh, we'll be back once we fire the smoker up. Okay, here she is in all her swine apple glory. Uh, pork center roasted at about 150, 155. Everything looks nice and crisp. So let's slice into it. We're gonna let it rest for a few minutes, slice into it and see what we got. All right, all sliced up, ready to go. I don't know about you all, but that looks fantastic. Little swine apple for a nice Sunday evening dinner. Gonna put it out with some rice, a little bit of garlic rice. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next adventure.